Welcome to Oregon Hot Rod! Welcome to the Oregon Hot Rod Experience, where we're going to share information with you. We're going to show you our successes and our failures, our mistakes and our solutions. We'll go on adventures, we are build cars, we'll do shop projects, and we'll do a whole bunch more. But most of all, we're going to entertain you with reality and stupidity. So subscribe now and continue to watch your Hot Rod Experience. Button and subscribe now. Yeah, subscribe now. All right, welcome back. Now let's get this show on the road, get some work done. Okay, so one of the main things you want to do is make sure you get everything prepped out right. You're going to weld, you want print clean surfaces. So I'm, I'm, clean, I'm, I'm welding it to this here deal. So for the, the engine stand. So I want to make sure my surfaces are clean so when I go to put this on, I don't get a bad weld. So I'm just going to get this cleaned up and get it ready for uh, to weld on. Besides getting this thing ready to get to weld up, I'm also getting it prepped up to paint later on. So, you know, making sure you got a nice clean surface to paint to and uh, priming stuff is important as well. this welded up here. Uh, one thing you might want to notice is uh, this little doodad down here. This is a this is just a magnet. A very important thing when you're trying to do some uh, fabrication work to have one of those available or about a dozen of them actually because they help hold things in place rather than trying to hold on to it yourself and then uh, uh, dropping it, misaligning it, doing whatever. So get yourself some of those. They're real cheap at Harbor Freight. And uh, they save a hell of a lot of work. Has to be a good welder. As a matter of fact, I'm a pretty crappy one, but if I can get enough weld on there, it'll hold. So hopefully you're a better welder than me. Well, like I said, I'm not a damn good welder, but next to this best thing to being a bad welder is having a good grinder. I'm supposed to be wearing a safety glass here, but, but I'm a glutton for punishment. Out. 
We'll take the uh, die grinder to her and smooth her out, make her look all pretty again, get some paint on it, mount this damn uh, thing on here. It worked. Okay, here we go, folks. Mounted up onto the, uh, the engine stand, bolted up temporarily so that we can uh, get an idea of how everything's gonna gonna work here. Next phase is getting this uh, motor mounted to the stand, figuring out how I'm gonna do that, and then. Uh, from there, uh, getting my bicycle chain, uh, getting sprockets and stuff. Uh, fortunately, the uh, the garage door uh, has a uh, opener has a, uh, a a sprocket on it, uh, but I don't have a sprocket for the upper part. Uh, my plan is is to take the uh, handle. from the uh, uh, bead roller that comes with it. Take this handle and uh, then uh, uh, probably chop this off here and just use this portion here, drill it and tap it to put my uh, sprocket on and uh, put it on that way. Uh, we'll see once I get the sprocket and stuff. And then uh, once I'm done with that, then I could possibly use the other portion here with the handle on it to uh, make my adjustment for the, uh, for the uh, rollers right in here. And I can uh, put this up on here so that I can uh, spin this around here easily so that's my plan we'll see how it goes uh, but uh, I'm gonna take a break right now and uh, uh, get something to eat and have a cup of coffee get warmed up and uh, get back to uh, get back to this a little bit later so see you later Say hi. Say hi, everybody. Say hi, Say everybody. Hi. Say anyway, keep watching. Learn a couple of things. Watch us tear some shit up or stuff up. Excuse me. And uh, smash that like button and subscribe now. Yeah, subscribe now. Like OregonHotRod.com. Like and for years, I don't know what has happened because they still. <laughs>